And, you know, I also come from a perspective as someone who's been a campaigner that's worked with the medical establishment, has worked with NHS England, who is, you know, have, have a very good relationship with the CEO of NHS England, Simon Stevens. You know, uh, part of what I did is I managed to lobby and change the policy, both in terms of the British Medical Association, the Academy of Medical Royal Colleges, to say that hospitals should not be promoting or selling junk food. That is already established. NHS England, this, this editorial that I co-authored with the former chair of the Medical Royal Colleges, Terence Stevenson, who then became the chair of the GMC, um, Mahiben Marathapu, who was actually the clinical fellow to Simon Stevens, the chief executive of NHS England. And this was with his blessing. We put this together and we basically put this editorial saying that healthy eating should be a priority, a sure way to improve health outcomes for NHS staff and the public. And some of the things we wrote about was we said that informing patients and public how diet can improve health is a responsibility of all healthcare workers who should lead by example. And of course, to do this, health workers need to have education, training, and access to information, which of course is lacking. Um, this is completely you know, contradicting how Royal Free you know, put out this tweet saying they were very happy to receive these free donuts from Krispy Kreme. It doesn't make any sense. So there's a lack of accountability here. There's clearly a disconnect with what's going on. And this is a hospital, by the way, I worked in. Um, so I find this very bizarre. And I'm just really saying that this just didn't make any sense to me at all. So what about medical education, um, you know, uh, nutrition education in, in medical school? It's, it's basically non-existent. I didn't learn anything about nutrition and health in medical school. It's something I had to learn for myself as I, uh, you know, uh, over the years after I qualified, after even being, you know, uh, a specialist registrar in cardiology. Um, but what's interesting and what gives us hope is that most doctors, most medical students realize that, that nutrition is crucial to good health. Um, and they would expect, most of them would expect patients to have an understanding that doctors should have an understanding of basic nutrition. And 99% felt that nutrition played a role in maintaining good health, which is all really great news. This is publication in BMG Nutrition, which you can look up. Um, but the problem we've got still is that majority felt they lack the knowledge, the time and confidence in being able to have those discussions with patients. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe below so you don't miss any future content. To learn more about CNM or its courses, head to www.naturopathy.com.